Have you ever wondered how cyclones form and what makes them so powerful? Well, you're about to find out. A cyclone is a massive air mass that rotates around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. Picture a giant spinning top, only this one is made of air and can't be seen with the naked eye. This rotation is counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere when viewed from above. It's the exact opposite of an anti-cyclone. What characterizes cyclones are their inward spiraling winds that rotate around a low pressure zone. Think of it like water spiraling down a drain, but instead of water, it's air, and instead of a drain, it's a zone of low pressure. The largest of these low-pressure systems are polar vortices and extratropical cyclones on the largest scale, known as the synoptic scale. Warm core cyclones such as tropical and subtropical cyclones also lie within this synoptic scale. Smaller scale cyclones like mesocyclones, tornadoes and dust devils belong to the mesoscale. Interesting fact, cyclones aren't limited to Earth. They've also been observed on Mars, Jupiter and Neptune. Now how does a cyclone form, you might ask? This process is known as cyclogenesis. Extratropical cyclones begin as waves in large regions of enhanced mid-latitude temperature contrast called baroclinic zones. These zones contract, form weather fronts and the cyclonic circulation closes and intensifies. As they age extratropical cyclones occlude meaning cold air masses undercut the warmer air and become cold core systems. A cyclone's path is guided throughout its two to six day life cycle by the steering flow of the subtropical jet stream. Weather fronts which mark the boundary between two air masses of different temperatures, humidity and densities, are associated with the most notable meteorological phenomena. There are also tropical cyclones, they form due to latent heat driven by significant thunderstorm activity and are warm core. These cyclones can transition between extratropical, subtropical and tropical phases. To wrap it all up, cyclones are massive rotating air masses characterized by inward spiraling winds around a low pressure zone. They form through a process called cyclogenesis and are guided by the subtropical jet stream. They can be extratropical or tropical and can transition between these phases. So next time a cyclone is mentioned in the weather forecast, you'll know exactly what they're talking about.